Hey Capricorn, it is Meg with Padme's and I'm doing your full moon reading. What they want to say about you or what they want to say to you, <laughs> what they want to say to you Capricorn for April 2021. And we are talking to our guys of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anybody else. We're getting the energy around what the person that you are thinking about wants to say to you. What we're gonna do is look at your energy. We're gonna look at their energy. We're gonna look at the situation. And then we're gonna pull some cards to see what they wanna say. At the end, I'm gonna do a yes or no question also. So you can pause the video and get your question together. And we'll pull from the Angel Oracle and then clarify that, but we will get a yes or no question at the end. All right, Capricorn. So here is your energy. And here is the person that you are thinking about. Here is their energy or the person you're dealing with. And this is the energy of the situation. And we are gonna start with the situation. So let's see Capricorn. We've got the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups is really about leaving situations in difficult situations. It's hard to leave this person or it's hard to leave this situation. And when we do, it's like, we're emotionally ready. It's been a long time. This is kind of like the writing on the wall. It's been a long time. I could totally hear that Led Zeppelin song. It's been a long time, but writing's been on the wall. It's like, you've known what's been going on emotionally and it's just been difficult to leave, but then there's finally some kind of departure. And oh, here's the three of swords, Capricorn. This is heartbreak and devastation and sadness. This is recuperating from the devastation of, this can be a third party situation. This can also just be a heartbreak, somebody leaving, somebody leaving and somebody being desperately upset about it. Oh my gosh. And here we have the five of swords. This is betrayal. This is literally betrayal. Someone has done you wrong. Someone has done you dirty. This very well could be a third party situation. Capricorn, this situation is so, it's, it's sad and it's heavy and it's emotional. Okay. This is, this is your energy. Here you are coming up as the nine of wands and it's the nine of wands reversed. So there's this aspect to this that you've you've given this to the universe. You've released it out into the universe. You've surrendered to the universe. It's like, I've experienced all this. I've felt all of this. And now I'm, I'm releasing it. I'm letting it go. Yeah, there's a seven of swords. It's like, there's been betrayal. It's reversed though. There's been betrayal. I'm aware of it. It's come to light and it's water under the bridge, it's in the past. And Capricorn, you're coming up as the king of swords. This king of swords is very clear about what it is that he wants. He's very clear and knowledgeable about how to get what he wants. He's strategic, he's not heartless, but he does choose head over heart. I feel like he wants to say something else, Capricorn. He's also saying, he's saying something about infractions, being denied, looking at things for what they are, 
seeing things for what they are, not through, <laughs> I'm hearing heart colored glasses, but looking at the reality of things. We're gonna look at what your person that you're thinking of, where are they? What kind of energy are they holding on to right now, exuding? And then we have the Queen of Wands for your person that you're thinking of. And this Queen of Wands is fiery. She's a fiery queen. She wields energy. She likes to have control of the situation to the extent that she feels safe. She feels like things are going in her direction, going her way, going for the greater good, but she's the greater good. So she's fiery, she's snappy, she's fun, she's exciting, she's chemically attractive. And here we have the three of cups. She's a party. This is, this is celebration, this is happiness, this is exciting and fun. And here's the page of swords. This is communication. And this is talking to someone. Look at all these little letters. All these little letters flying around this page of swords. This is communication and talking and this can be flirty, very flirty. Okay. What I want to do is look at what you're not seeing for the future. So future, mm -hmm. what, what you're not seeing that's coming forward. I was going to pick three cards, two cards jumped out. So we'll still pick another one. But what we have here, Capricorn is the king of wands. So we've got the king of swords in your energy. Then we've got the queen of wands. And then for the future, we've got the king of wands. So this is the, the counterpart, the couple. So there's this king of wands energy. Somebody meeting this queen of wands with her own energy. The masculine and the feminine. And here's temperance. Temperance is about patience. Ooh, I want to say temperance is about kindness, but I've never really thought that or said that about this card, but that's what's coming up when I'm hearing it. But this is having patience. This is having balance. Oh, I'm hearing too. This is knowing when to do what. And it's knowing when to marry two things together. Let's get that third clarifier what's happening in the future that you don't see. And here is the Ace of Pentacles. It's reversed. So there's some kind of, there's some kind of offer that doesn't happen or there's not a solid offer that happens. This is a new beginning when it's right side up, it's a new beginning in solid, material, practical. It's a practical offer of stability. And this practical offer of stability looks like there's, there's a challenge in that or it doesn't happen. All right, Capricorn, let's see. What does this person that you're thinking of want to say to you? What do they want to say to you? <laughs> I'm hearing, what do they want to interject? Oh my, I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. This is still flirty. We're gonna get two more. I didn't know that I was starving until I tasted you, but it's reversed. So this, this is saying somebody, 
doesn't know doesn't know you doesn't know you well or well enough it's like there's this flirty energy but they're still trying to know you one more Ooh. shadow work trauma or ptsd talking behavior clouds a true connection this again is talking about knowing more in-depth parts of each other this is talking about knowing true motivations about each other this person wants to know more about your inner world They're flirty, but really they're wanting substance. And it looks like substance might not be what's being offered. But that chemical attraction is there. Looks like there's a lot of patience and balance. Okay. So we're gonna ask a yes or no question. Capricorn, so get your question ready. You can pause this if you need to and be asking your question while I'm shuffling and we're asking the angel oracle for Capricorn. Yes or no? Okay, here we go. Mm, I'm going to say this is a no. Choose a new direction. choose a new direction. We're going to get a clarifying card for this cap. Ooh, and the clarifying card is the two of swords, mental conflict reversed. This is a decision having been made. Choose a new direction. And it's almost like you've already done that. You've already chosen a new direction. So there you have it. I want one more clarifier. We're gonna use the maybe the Norman. Choose a new direction. There's already been a decision made. Wow, deterioration, all these little mice. This is temporary deterioration, but right, All right, Capricorn, there you have it. I hope this helped you for your full moon end of the month energy and journey. And I will see you more toward the beginning of May with your May Terrascope. Have a good one.